hi welcome to Ikato's Crossing okay some of you may or may not know I'm actually in New Zealand okay so we're in the southern hemisphere and so as you move into Salwyn we're moving into Beltane we're moving into our spring summery type of weather okay so what I'm looking at here is they actually have a Beltane cross spread which looks quite interesting now the car the positions are named after cards so card one is your current energy card two is sacrifice what is currently in your way of success card three is the flower crown what has caused the situation card four is ribbons what do you need to be aware of card five is surrender a past situation that is influencing you Card six is Phoenix. What's it like to ha likely to happen in the near future? Card number seven, milk and butter. What is your attitude about this situation? Card eight is Oracle. What guidance do you need the most right now? Card nine is B. What possibilities are available to you? And card ten is fertilizing. What is the outcome of the situation? Okay, so let's do... All right, let's do the Beltane cross spread. Okay, so we're thinking about the positions. Okay, card number one. Card number two. Card number three. Card number four. Okay, let's see if I can move this out a bit. Okay, card number five. Oh, I should have moved this over a bit. Because I'm doing it the other way, aren't I? And then we've got seven, eight, nine and ten okay so card number one is the underneath one now this is my current energy so the current energy is the stone circle in ceremony you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into yourself stone circle card number 39 let's have a look at that card number 39 ceremony so it is about ceremony. It's not just about magic and manifestation. It's a moment to channel your power and send your intentions out. So my current energy, sending my intentions. So been living too far. You've been guided to see the small magic and notice the blessings. Small magic, by the way, it makes you feel. Seek ways to invite more ritual into your daily life. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so what am I sacrificing? What is currently in the way of success? Morning dew. What stillness does the silence and one steadiness brings? To me, that tells me I'm not being still enough in the mornings. I've stopped doing what I would normally do. I would normally sit out and have a cup of tea, and I've stopped doing that. I've stopped being still. That's interesting there. Next card is flower, card three is flower crown. What has caused the situation? So what's caused me? I haven't been able to surrender. There's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go of settling, setting yourself free of all that doesn't suit you. you know, I haven't been doing that. I haven't been surrendering. I haven't been allowing myself to do that. I've just stopped. I've just been busy. Okay, ribbons. What do I need to be a part, be aware of? The phoenix summons your flesh rises from the ashes and into the expanse of flame your soul. So it seems like I need to be aware of a sense of rebirthing within myself. That's interesting. Okay, card number six. Did I forget? What? Oh, did I forget one? Number five, sorry, uh, number four was ribbons. Number five was surrender. 
what do I need to be aware of as a rebirthing? One, two, three, four, five was primal. There is no other way around but through the very truth that lives within you. So I need to be, I need to get past a situation that's influencing me. The truth that lives within me. Well, that's interesting. I need to get right down to the truth. Okay. Number six, what's likely to happen in the near future? Growth. Inside myself, I've signed beauty with wounds, which speaks of my immortality, expansive internal song. Okay, number seven is milk and butter. What's your attitude about my situation? Sacred waters. Drunken by the swell of the sea, I can feel the blanket of her embrace. Unafraid of the presence, releasing the cords, I call her in. I call her deeply within. My attitude. Sacredness. Sacred practice. Okay, number eight. What guidance do I need? The sun god. Come all, come now. Expand into the skies, into the shadows below. Oh, that's interesting. Number nine. What possibilities are available to me? Pegasus, break free, collect dear one. Spread wide and far for you. Aren't, you're limitless. That's interesting. Fertilizing. What's the outcome of the situation? Milk and butter. Like the silk of one's flesh, I am the giver, I am your, your internal. So it feels like I'm very nourished by it all. So it feels like overall my current energy is the sense of needing to be in silence, right? I need to be silent. So I need, so what's stopping me from being silent? Not being able to be still. It feels like I'm always on the go. I haven't allowed myself to be still and be quiet. What's causing this situation is I'm unable to, I don't feel like I can surrender to it. I've been stopping myself from surrendering. I haven't, I've just kept going. It still feels like I've just kept moving. So what do I naturally need to be aware of is this sense of rebirthing. What the benefits I'll receive once I learn, once I remember to be still. What's my attitude? Oh, so how do I surrender? By looking at the truth of the situation, by really getting the truth that lies within me. What's likely to happen in the near future is I'm going to grow and develop. That's awesome. What's my attitude about the situation? Is that it's a very sacred practice? What guidance do I need from the sun god? Which is interesting. So that's the morning. Getting up in the morning. The sun. It's interesting. Having a cup of tea. Just relaxing. No computer. No internet. Got to, yeah, allow that time. So what possibilities are allowed? Oh, to me, I just feel like I'm going to fly free. I'm allowed to think. And I'm going to feel very nourished by, this, by the situation. Oh, that's an interesting one there. Okay, so card one current energies card two is sacrifice card three is the flower crown what has caused the situation card four is ribbon what do you need to be aware of card number five is surrender a past situation that is influencing you card six is phoenix what is likely to happen in the near future card seven milk and buddy what is milk and butter what is your attitude about the situation card eight oracle what guidance do you need the most right now um card nine b what possibilities are available to you? And card 10 is fertilizing. What is the outcome of the situation? What an interesting spread. I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit more um, thought about that. Okay, that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.